So we come to the British middleweight title, 15 of um, history, the first video. So we have from 1982, the heavyweight champion also, um, but 1882 here, April 1882. Charlie Mitchell is also the heavyweight champion, wins competition at Chelsea London to decide British title. It doesn't say who. Um, sometimes the records are a bit hard. So. 1890, February the 7th, 1890, Toff Wall wins on points over 12 rounds against Bill Chesterfield at Good London. Then March the 12th, 1891, Ted Pritchard wins by KO in a third round against Jack Burke in London, England. November the 26th, 1894. Ted Pritchard beats Dick Berg in London. In 1898, 1898. February the 25th, 1898. Anthony Diamond wins on points over 12 rounds against Dido Plum in Birmingham. Nineteen hundred. March the seventeenth, nineteen hundred. Dido Plum wins by KO in the eighth round against Australian Jim Roach. Uh, in London, England. So yeah, that did happen in these days. Sometimes you had um, a foreign person fighting for the title. April 14th, 1902. Jack Palmer wins by KO in the 11th round against Joe White at Newcastle. June 23rd, 1902. Jack Palmer wins by KO in the seventh round against Dave Peters in Murrithu in Murfield, uh, Wales. September 13th, 1902. Jack Palmer wins by KO in the fifth round against Harry Slouch Dixon in Newcastle. Then March 19th, 1906. Pat O'Keefe. Wins on points over 15 rounds against Mike Crowley, London, England. April the 23rd, 1906. Pat O'Keefe wins by KO in the sixth round against Charlie Allen in London, England. May the 28th, 1906. Tom Thomas wins on points over 15 rounds against Pat O'Keefe in London, England. Then, 1908, the same year, right at the end of the year, Boxing Day, uh, 26th of December, Jack Johnson finally wins the title from Tommy Burns after chasing him around the world. But here, April the 30th, 1908, Tom Thomas wins by KO in the fifth round against Mike... Crawley in London, England. Then June the 1st, 1908, Tom Thomas wins by KO in the fourth round against James Tiger Smith in London, England. November the 17th, 1908, Tom Thomas wins by KO in the sixth round against Jack Costello in Swansea, Wales. October the 5th, 1909, Tom Thomas wins by retirement in the 11th round against Jack Kingsland in Pontypridd. Then December the 20th, 1909, Tom Thomas wins by KO in the second round against Charlie Wilson in London, England. Then... November the 14th, 
1910. November the 14th, 1910. Jim Sullivan wins on points over 20 rounds against Tom Thomas in London, England. May the 20th, 1912, Jack Harrison wins on points over 20 rounds. It's Petit, Pat, McElroy in London, England. April 27th, 9th, oh no, um, February 23rd, 1914, Pat O'Keefe wins on points over 20 rounds against Harry Reeve in London, England. April 27th, 1914, Pat O'Keefe wins on points over 20 rounds against Nicol Simpson in London, England. May the 25th, 1914, Pat O'Keefe wins on points over 20 rounds against Jim Sullivan. London, England. It's a start in the first world war there. And again, I suppose that's why they haven't got in activity, but again, still to not, you know, or less activity, should I say. Still got it in 1916 while the first world war was going on. So went on to 1919 or 18. Uh, so I digress. February 21st, 1916. Pat O'Keefe wins on points over 20 rounds against Jim Sullivan in London, England. Then May 22nd, 1916, bandsman Jack Blake wins on points over 20 rounds against Pat O'Keefe in London, England. Yeah, in another two-year break. I imagine that's the First World War, the inactivity. One fight in four years there. Yeah, two, it was finished in... 18, uh, 1918. So, 28th of January 1918, Pat O'Keefe wins by KO against bandman Jack Blake. I think he wins the Lonsdale belt there uh, in London, England. March 11th, 1920, Ticket Lewis. We started at Bantam actually, but ended up um, in heavies actually, fighting heavies like George Capontier. But uh, here it is, March 11th, 1920. Ticket Lewis wins by KO in the fourth round against Johnny Beck in London, England. And in March 29th, 1920, Tom Gummer wins by retirement in the 14th round against Jim Sullivan in London, England. That's Tom Gummer. In the 14th round against Jim Sullivan. Then you've got 1921. 1921. March 28th, 1921. Gus Platt wins in his 6th round by retirement against Tom Gunner in Sheffield, England. May the 31st, 1921. Johnny Basham wins on points over 20 rounds against Gus Platt, London, England. Then, June the 27th, 1921, Ticket Lewis wins on points over 20 rounds against Jack Bloomsfield in London, England. October the 14th, 1921, Ticket Lewis wins in 12th round by retirement against Johnny Basham in London, England. Then... November 20th, 1922, Ticket Lewis wins on points over 20 rounds against Roland Todd in London, England. Then February 15th, 1923, Roland Todd wins on points over 20 rounds on points, 20 rounds points decision against Ticket Lewis in London, England. Then you've got July the 12th, 1926. It's when Jack Dempsey loses his title. Um, or he loses, yeah, he loses that world title fight to Gene Tunney, or one of them. Uh, July the 12th, 1926. Tommy Milligan wins in the 14th round, roughly stops the fight against George West in London, England. 
October the 7th, 1926. Tommy Milligan wins in the 14th round. Ruffy stops the fight against Ted Moore in London, England. Then, yeah, Gene Tunney in 1927 beats Jack Dempsey also. But here we are, January 27th. And, um, that's for the world title, obviously. I'm just doing the British here, saying what's going on at the same time. January 27th, 1927. Tommy Milligan wins in the 14th round again. Uh, referee stops the fight in London, England. Then, February 16th, 1927, Frank Moody wins on points over 15 rounds against Roland Todd in London, England. Then, March the 14th, 1928, Alex Island wins by disqualification in the 9th round against Tommy Milligan in Edinburgh, Scotland. Then, August the 6th, 1928, Frank Moody wins by KO in the first round against Tommy Milligan in Glasgow, England. Then Alex Island, uh, sorry, September the 17th, 1928, Alex Island wins on points over 15 rounds against Frank Moody in Edinburgh, Scotland. Then 1929, yeah, the economic downfall, stock market crash in America. So, May the 16th, 1929, Len Harvey wins by KO in the seventh round against Alex Island in London, England. Then October the 21st, 1929, Len Harvey wins on points over 15 rounds against Jack Hood in London, England. Then December the 18th, 1929, Len Harvey draws with Jack Hood over 15 rounds in London, England. Then, May the 22nd, 1930, the year Uruguay win the World Cup in Uruguay. Uh, May the 20, uh, that's the Football World Cup. Uh, May the 22nd, 1930, Len Harvey wins in the night for him. Referee stops the fight against Steve McCall in London, England. And then, June the 22nd, 1931, Len Harvey wins on points over 15 rounds against Jack Hood in London, England. Then, 1932, the year of the USA Olympics, or one of the USA Olympics, uh, 1984 also, um, and 96, but anyway, back to this, 1930. So, March 21st, 1932, Len Harvey wins on points over 15 rounds against Jock McAvoy in Manchester. December the 12th, 1932, Len Harvey wins on points over 15 rounds against J Jack Casey in Newcastle. Then April the 10th, 1933, Jock M McAvoy wins on points over 15 rounds against Len Harvey in Manchester, England. October the 9th, 1933, Jock M McAvoy wins by KO in the 10th round against Archie Sexton in Manchester. June the 24th, 1935. Jock McAvoy wins on points over 15 rounds against Alan Elberg uh, in Manchester, England. And then October the 25th, 1937. Jock McAvoy wins the 11th round by retirement against Jack Hyams in Manchester, England. And then 39. So again, there's a break to the end of the war, but again, starting of the war here, just got just before this first Second World War. Um, so May the 22nd, 1939, or it probably yeah, just started. Uh, Jock McAvoy wins on points over 15 rounds against Arthur Ginger Sad in Manchester, England. 15 rounds point decision for McAvoy. Yes, there's a break there. Obviously, the Second World War, the break. And again, May the 29th, 1945, Ernie Roderick wins on points over 15 rounds against Vince Hawking in London, England. Then... 
October the 26th, 1946. Same year Joe Lewis fought um, Billy Cobb. Not the first time, actually. Is that the first time? I can't remember. So, anyway. October the 28th, 1946. Vince Hawkins wins on points over 15 rounds against Ernie Roderick in London, England. Uh, 1948, year of uh, the British Olympics there. June 28th, 1948, Dick Turpin from Leamington Spa wins on points over 15 rounds against Vince Hawkins in Birmingham, England. Then June 20th, 1949, Dick Turpin wins on points over 15 rounds against Albert Finch, Birmingham, England. And then 1950, Uruguay win the World Cup in Brazil for football. But here we go, April 24th, 1950. Albert Finch wins on points over 15 rounds against Dick Turpin in Nottingham. October the 17th, 1950, Randolph Turpin from Leamington Spa wins by KO in the fifth round against Albert Finch in London, England. And then we go to 1954, year West Germany win the World Football Cup in West Germany. So, September the 14th, 1954. Johnny Sullivan wins by KO in the first round against Gordon Hazel in London, England. Then, June 16th, 1955, Pat McAteer wins by disqualification in the ninth round against Johnny Sullivan in Liverpool, England. October uh, 1956, year of the Montreal Olympics. And they were also in 76. Um... Yeah, the Shrugway Land of winning in 76. So back to 1956 here. October the 8th, 1956. Pat McAteer wins in the fourth round. Ruffy stops the fight against Lou Lazar in Nottingham, England. And McAteer wins the Lonsdale now. So September the, sorry, yeah, September the 5th, 1957. Pat McAteer wins on points over 15 rounds against Martin Hansen in Liverpool and again he wins the Lonsdale there 1958 the year Brazil win the Football World Cup in Sweden September 30th 1958 here Terry Downs from Paddington in London Wins in the 13th round, referee stops the fight against Phil Edwards in London, England. And then September the 15th, 1959, John McCormack wins by disqualification in the 8th round against Terry Downs in London, England. November the 3rd, 1959, Terry Downs wins in the 8th round, referee stops the fight in the 8th round against John McCormack in London, England. Yes, yeah, so July the yes, yeah, so nineteen sixty, the year of the Rome Olympics, when Muhammad Ali wins in the Rome Olympics, the light heavy title. You had Dick McTaggart in there, the Scottish guy. So yes, yeah, so July the fifth, nineteen sixty, Terry Downs wins the Lonzo Belt uh, by retirement in the twelfth round. Against Phil Edwards in London, England. Then 1962, year of the Chile were a World Football Cup, which Brazil win. But again, here we are. So November the 26th, 1962, George Eldridge wins by KO in the sixth round against John McCormack in Manchester, England. Then May the 28th, 1963, Mick Leahy wins in the first round. Referee stops the fight against George Eldridge in Nottingham, England. Yeah, so. 1964, the same year as the Tokyo Olympics, when Joe Fraser wins the gold at the heavyweight division, stepping in for Buster Math Mathis, taking Buster Mathis's place as a substitute. I mean, he lost to him in the amateurs, but he won the gold. So, back to December the 14th, 1964. Willie Swift wins on points over 15 rounds against Nick Leahy in Nottingham, England. Then November the 8th, 1965. Johnny 
Pritchett wins over 12 rounds. So he stops the fight against Wally Swift, Nottingham. Then there's a few brothers, the Swifts. Obviously, 66 when the England win the World Football Cup in England. But here we are. So, March 21st, 1966. Johnny Pritchett wins by retirement in the 13th round against Nat Jacobs in Nottingham. But again, yeah, that year, uh, Ali beat Brian London in the third round. And it wasn't that long after England won the World Cup. It was a week before, so a week after. From what I remember, so back to here. The box in February 20th, 1967. Johnny Pritchett wins a Lonsdale belt. Wins on points over 15 rounds against Wally Swift in Nottingham, England. 1968, year of the Mexico Olympics when George Foreman wins gold. Heavyweight division, yeah. So February 26th. Nineteen sixty-eight, Johnny Pritchett wins on points over fifteen rounds against Les McAteer in Nottingham. Then at July the fourteenth, nineteen sixty-nine, Les McAteer wins eleventh round by retirement against Wally Swift in Nottingham. Then nineteen seventy, again the first Mexico World Cup, which Brazil win, uh, and Jordan Banks. With the save of the century in that World Cup, but again, May the 12th, back to boxing, May the 12th, 1970. Mark Rowe wins in the 14th round, Rapid stops the fight against Les McAteer in London, England, September the 8th, 1970. Bunny Sterling wins in the 4th round, Rapid stops the fight against Mark Rowe in London, England. Then we've got 1972, the year of the Munich Olympics. Uh, T. Filio Stevenson, the Cuban, does well there. In the Olympics, and yeah, 76 and 80 as well. He could have maybe won the fourth if uh, Cuba didn't boycott the 1984 uh, USA Olympics. But it's back to 1972. Obviously, a few things went badly there. Munich Olympics, but anyway, September the uh, 19th, back to this there. Uh, I won't go into that. So, September 19th, 1972. Bunny Sterling wins in the fifth round by KO against Phil Matthews in Manchester, England. And then, 1973, the same year Bruce Lee died. Um, January 17th, 1973 here, Bunny Sterling wins the Lonsdale belt. In the 11th round, Ruffy stops the fight against Don McMillan in Solihull. Then April the 17th, 1973, Bunny Sterling wins on points. Over 15 rounds against Mark Rowe in London. Then Feb, you've got 1974, the year West Germany win the World Football Cup in West Germany. Uh, February 11th, 1974, here Kevin Finnegan wins on points over 15 rounds against Bunny Sterling in London, England. June the 10th, 1975, Bunny Sterling wins in the 8th round. Ruffy stops the fight against Maurice Hope, London, England. November the 4th, 1975, Alan Smith, I'm um, sorry, Alan Minter. He competed in the Munich Olympics in 72. Wins on points over 15 rounds against Kevin Finnegan, London, England. 1976, the Mont again, the Montreal Olympics, the second one there. Uh, April 27th, 1976. Alan Minter wins in the second round for referee stopping the fight against Billy Knight in London, England. September 14th, 1976, Alan Minter wins a Lonsdale belt. He wins on points over 15 rounds against Kevin Finnegan in London, England. Then in May the 31st, 1977, Kevin Finnegan wins in the 11th round. Ruffy stops the fight against Frankie Lucas in London, England. 
on November the 8th, 1977, Alimenta wins on points over 15 rounds against Kevin Finnegan in London, England. In April the 10th, 1979, Tony Sibson wins in the fifth round. Rafi stops the fight against Funky Frankick Lucas. Frankick Lucas, shall I say, London, England. Then, November the 6th, 1979, Kevin Finnegan wins the Lonsdale belt. On points over 15 rounds against Tony Sibson in London, England. Then, 1981. February 2nd, 1981. Roy Gums wins. In the third round, Ruffy stops the fight against Howard Mills, London, England. In October 29th, 1981, Roy Gums wins in the sixth round, Ruffy stops the fight against Eddie Burke, in Glasgow, Scotland. Then, 1982, Year of the Spain World Cup, which Italy won. Then February 18th, that's the Football World Cup there. So February 18th, 1982, Roy Gums wins the Lonsdale belt. In the 13th round, Ruffy stops the fight against Glenn McEwen in Liverpool. Won the Lonsdale belt outright there. So, change over. And she did a last few. So, yeah. so we go to 83, West Ham boy there, Mark Kayla, Tibbs fire, yes yeah, so, September the 14th, 1983, Mark Kayla wins in the fifth round by KO against Roy Gums at Wembley, England. In 1984, the year of the Los Angeles Olympics, which Moscow boycotted. And November the 27th, 1984, Tony Sifson wins on points over 12 rounds against Mark Kayla at Wembley, England. Again, T. Fulio Stevenson could have won four golds there, but they boycotted that. Political stuff going on. Then April the 24th, 1985, Harold Graham from the Winkle Bank Gym in Sheffield wins by KO in the first round against Jimmy Price in London, England. Again, uh, 1986, there. And it's when Argentina win the World Cup in Mexico. They did in 1970, but Brazil won it then. but Again, Argentina won the Football World Cup in 1986 in Mexico. So, October 29th, 1886, Brian Anderson wins referee stops the fight against Tony Burke in Belfast. I remember this fight. I had this on VHS. Um, Tony Sism said he hadn't slept all night for this fight because he'd been out a while. But he won there. So, September 16th, 1987, Tony Sibson wins. In the seventh round, Ruffy stops the fight against Brian Anderson in London, England. He won the Lonsdale belt outright there. Tony Sibson, I remember this fight as well. Um, this is 1988, the year of the Seoul Olympics, when Roy Jones gets robbed, getting only silver, knacking one day, get his, got his dull money stopped um, while he was in the Olympics. So, June the 8th, 1988, Harold Graham wins in the fifth round, Ruffy stops the fight against James Cook in Sheffield, England. And that's the end. Um, yeah, actually, I'll do the light middle as well while I'm here, because that's just started there. So, sort of a newer division uh, on this scene anyway. Uh, not on the world scene. So, 54 pounds, 11 stone. Light middle, British light middle. So, September 25th, 1973, Larry Paul wins by KO against Bobby Arthur 
in Wolverhampton, 25th of September 1973, the same year Bruce Lee died. In 1974, the same year West Germany won the World Football Cup in Germany. Uh, but here we are, April 24th, 1974. Larry Paul wins on points over 15 rounds against Kevin White in Wolverhampton. Then November the 5th, 1974, Morris Hope wins by KO in the 8th round against Larry Paul in Wolverhampton. Then September 30th, 1975, Morris Hope wins in the 4th round. Ruffy stops the fight against Larry Paul in London. Then 1976, the same year as the Montreal Olympics, when Sugar Ray Leonard won gold in the lightweight division against El Dharma. Um, April 20th, 1976 here, Morris Hope wins the Lonsdale belt. Ruffy stops the fight in the 12th round against Tony Paul in London. Hope relinquished the title. Then, Jimmy Batten and Duran opponent later. Yeah, so, but again... February 12, 1977, Jimmy Batten wins in the seventh round by retirement against Albert Hillman in London, England. October 25th, 1977, Jimmy Batten wins in the fourth round, Ruffy Stocks to fight against Larry Paul in London, England. 1978, when Argentina win the World Football Cup in Argentina. September the 12th, 1978, Jimmy Batten wins by retirement in the 13th round against Tony Paul in London, England. Then, September 11th, 1979, Pat Thomas wins in 9th round, Ruffy stops the fight against Jimmy Batten, London, England. December 11th, 1979, Pat Thomas wins by KO in the 7th round against Dave Proud in Milton Keynes. Then, 1980, the year of the Moscow Olympics, when uh, Steve... Um, Steve Ovet, should I say? Steve Ovet and Sebco we uh, beat each other in their events uh, in the 1980 Moscow Olympics. So back to this September the 16th, 1980. Pat Thomas wins the Lonsdale Bell. Ruffy stops the fight in the 15th round against Steve Hopkin. In London, England. And again, so Harold Graham from the Winklebank Gym in Sheffield. Uh, March 24th, 1981, Harold Graham wins on points over 15 rounds against Pat Thomas in Sheffield, hometown for Harold Graham. Then, 1982, the same year Italy won the World Football Cup in Spain. February 24th, 1982, Harold Graham wins in ninth round. Referee stops the fight against Chris Christian in Sheffield. Graham relinquishes the title. Then October 11th, 1983, Prince Rodney wins in the sixth round. Referee stops the fight against Jimmy Batten in London, England. Then 1984, same year as the Los Angeles Olympics. USA, it was a mosque uh, which Russia boycotted, stopping Tifilio Stevenson getting his fourth goal, but Cuba boycotted as well. So February 22nd, 1984, Jimmy Cable wins on points over 12 rounds against Nick Wilkshire in London, England. February 20th, 1985, Jimmy Cable wins on points over 12 rounds against Gary Cooper, London, England. May 11th, 1985, Prince Rodney wins by KO in the first round against Jimmy Cable in Hastings. A guy called Brian Robinson fought in that bill. But anyway, back to this. Prince Rodney wins on uh, September 7th, 1985. Prince Rodney wins on points over 12 rounds against Mick Courtney in the Isle of Man. Won, Prince Rodney won the Lonsdale belt outright. Then 1986, same year as the Mexico World Cup, which Argentina won there. So that's the football. So anyway, February the 19th, 1986, Chris Pyatt wins by KO in the tenth round against Prince Rodney in London, England. Then March 11th, 1987, Lloyd Hibbert wins on points over 12 rounds against Nick Wiltshire, London, England. 
in 1988, the Seoul Olympics year. Roy Jones gets robbed. And poor Henry Akinwendu, they take his dull money while he's training in the Olympics. Um, yeah, not, not on. But February the 3rd, 1988, Gary Cooper wins on points over 12 rounds. It's Michael Harris in Wembley, England. Rodney in 1983, Empire inhibit relinquish their title. So that's the end. Got the light middles, British title, and the middle uh, British title fights up to 1988. Bang. That's the first video there.